Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SCTV's broadcast of Simsbury Trojans basketball. We've got the Southington Blue Knights in the house tonight here in Simsbury. It is February 20th, and I am Roger Coombs, and with me tonight is Brian Coombs, Khalil Ellis, and on the camera, Nick St. Sauber. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming out. No problem. Good to be here. Guys, I'll take a minute just to update the, the fans out there of, of where we are right now in the season. This is game number 18 here in Simsbury. The Trojans are 14 and three overall and nine and three in the CCC West. We have three games remaining versus Southington here tonight. Glastonbury at Glastonbury tomorrow, which is Friday the 21st. And the last game of the year, our arch rivals, the Farmington Indians, come into Simsbury on Monday, February 24th. Brian, why don't you take a minute, give us a little bit of background. Uh, we'll talk about what we'll okay. talk after the start yeah. of the Stephen Barmore going to Yale, uh, quarterback of uh, Gatorade Football Player of the Year. Sophomore Ray Christie. Nate Medley, number 23 senior. Steve Harris. Steve Heron, number 24, senior captain. Junior four, number three, JB Hayes, junior captain. And junior captain, number five, Here comes EJ Crawford, junior. Leading scores in the state, coming in about average about 25 points. EJ had a tremendous year for the Trojans. We'll take a break for the national. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we'd like to ask you to please rise and face the flag of the Indians as we honor America with the flame of the national All right, all right. Is this a little better, boys? Yeah, it sounded better. Yeah. Nick cued me in, so Much that wasn't better. coming in. Brian, why don't you dress us up a little bit on the Southington Blue Knights? All right. It's been a long season for Southington. They come in 1-15. in 15. They have lost 13 in a row. So Coach uh, Bob Lasbury's trying to do a good job to guide them through a rebuilding period. So he does a nice job with that, and it's going to be a, a long rest of the year for them. Yeah, as you said, Brian, they haven't won since December 20th. That's that's a long time to go without uh, a victory, uh, basically eight weeks. Yeah, they seem very flat just looking at the players. It's got to be tough for them. It's not going to get any easier for them either because after us, that. they've got Weaver, New Britain, and Newington. All right, E.J. Crawford getting ready to score us up here off the jump ball. Nice tip. Oh, oh nice beautiful. play out of the gate. Oh, he blew. Oh, <laughs> 
No backboard. <laughs> Too bad. That was a beautiful play. That was a nice play. Ooh, number 15, Matt Sorrentino with a three ball to get him started. Yeah. He's got a smooth shot there. Looks like a 1-2-2 two, two of sorts. Yeah. Maybe a 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two, exactly. Oh, he oh, answers. Oh, he gets it back. <laughs> Nate makes, makes up for the missed layup. <laughs> yes, he did. Second hit. Yep. Ball off the hands of EJ and then Sorrentino turns it into a Trojan ball. So as the as the broadcast goes on tonight, guys, we'll talk a little bit about the upcoming CCC tournament and the CIAC state tournament. It's it's that time of year, folks. We don't like to talk about it too soon, but it's starting to take take shape right now. Let's hope there's no more snowstorms because the girls I just saw they only have eight teams that can play instead of sixteen. You're exactly right, Brian. 16 teams play in the CCC tournament, but the girls have unfortunately cut it down to eight. So Nate Medvey answers with a second three for Simsbury. Nate getting the hot hand, three shots for him, two for three. Number 12, Stephen Barmore headed to Yale. Gatorade player of the year there, football. Ooh. Oh, nice square up. That's yeah, no look good. good. Freer. Rayon Christie with the rebound, kicks it out to EJ. EJ squares one oh. up, and that's three. Four threes in this game so far, nothing but threes. EJ Crawford came in, correct, Khalil. EJ came in, boys, with 969 points. Is that right? Yeah. He could get that tonight. Oh. oh. Ellie Davis just got her 1,000 point mark. Yeah, yeah, a couple of weeks a couple ago. Weeks ago yeah. Yep, yep. Allie Davis, that's right, Khalil on the girls' side. But in speaking with Coach Stillman tonight, he had uh, a ball and a case all ready to go. Oh, he did already. Yeah. Okay, good move. Yeah, it could happen. So he needs 31. We much rather see that here tonight than Friday in Glastonbury. Oh, definitely at home. I believe his season high, I believe, is 31. And he averages 25, so that tells you how consistent he is. If he's going to get 31, this looks like the team to do it against. Yeah, true. I hit my college thousands on, with 31 points. Was that right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, in and out, another three by JB. Here come the Blue Knights. Oh, nice pass. Nice pass. By number 15, Matt Sorrentino to Patrick Freer, but it goes off Freer's leg. Yeah, we're coming off a tough loss. Sinsbury 17-3, we lost to Farmington, then New Britain, and then Tuesday night, a tough loss at Connard by one point. From what I heard, I heard it was because of uh, lack of defense in the fourth quarter that led to that loss. Yeah, that contributed, no question. Boy, that was flat and ugly. It looked like Rayon, Walter, and EJ all had good scoring nights. Though. Yeah, they did. Oh, nice back door. Number 22, Mike Pagano with a wonderful Princeton back door play. They needed that. 11 to five after three minutes, Simsbury lead. Coach Lansbury has his Blue Knights in a 3-2. Looks like a 3-2. Nate two, wants so. the ball. Oh, hey, oh, nice JB gets touch, the roll. Yep. JB. 13-5. Oh, nice little crossover off the board. No good for Mike Pagano. Here comes Rayon Christie. It's going to be a lot of fast breaks. Oh, tonight. good left hand. Very nice. Got the green sneaks on tonight. That's a quick 15 points, boys. Oh, that's a nice looking shot right there for Freer. Patrick Freer, yep. Yeah. He looks like he's got some hops. Oh, good back door of our own there. Steve Heron can't convert. Here comes Southington looking to push. Freer takes it to the left, pulls up. It's good. Yeah, he's a nice player. He's a nice player. He's got some good hops. 
Kind of yeah. reminds me of an older version of Jake Dowd, the junior, uh, sophomore for JB. Oh, JB up high. Yeah, Jake's got some nice hops. Yeah. Here's some subs. Number 14, Walter White checks in the game, sophomore. He goes in for J.B. Hayes and number four, Connor Peterson, CP4, as Avery and I call him. Nice. Uh, junior. It's nice to see him in early. Yeah. Probably see a lot of the bench tonight, hopefully. It's looking like it. Don't count out Southington yet. No. What do we got there? Clock issue. Ah, it's still rolling. I think it wasn't running for a while. He's going to run it down. Coach Martoshio on the music and the mic. Coach Osborne, our football coach, on the book. Freer gets into the lane. He's going to get hit. He's going to shoot two. Pat Freer's got seven of their ten. He wants to add to it right here. Jack Petrine is coming in. There's Jack Petrina, 12. Number 12, junior guard in for Rayon Christie. And he knocks that one down. Cuts the lead to four. Just about three minutes left in the quarter. Nick St. Savar working the camera like a professional here. He's turned into a veteran on us here in one season. Doing a great job, Nick. Khalil Ellis, his third game in the booth. Sitting between two Grizzled veterans. <laughs> Very grizzled. <laughs> Ooh, Nate gets in the lane. Step. That could be a walk. Yeah. That's a good call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nate doesn't get away with the Euro step here no. at Simsbury. <laughs> NBA, maybe. Maybe. Olympics, possibly. Developmental League, definitely. Oh, there's Chris Kelly. Number four, Kelly, very good outside shooter. Yeah, I remember him from last year. Yep. With two minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter out here on a Thursday night in Simsbury, February 20th. Nate wants- He's open on that. Oh, nice jump by Connor. I think he might have climbed the ladder a little bit. Oh, it hit the hit the rubber. Oh, yep. It hit the support above the basket. We, yep. have, we haven't scored for a while. True. I believe it was 15 to four, Bryce, so they're on a seven point. Oh, good crossover on EJ. Well, that looked like a foul. Yeah. Number 22, Mike Pagano. Little shake and bake on EJ there. Coach Bob Lasbury, very good coach. Been in there at least 10 years, I would say. Mm -hmm. He always has these guys play hard. They gave us a good battle the first time we played them. It was tight for three quarters. I remember you said that. Yeah. He misses them both. Oh, nice steal. Deep three. He made, I'm sorry, he made the first. Nice steal by... Is that Pagano? Yeah. Kelly in trouble. Wow, that's Career. a carry. <laughs> Yikes. That was a lot of dribbling on that play. Should have passed that one up. Absolutely, Claw. But he wasn't <laughs> looking at his teammates. That's no, sure. the head was down <laughs> like he was looking at some bacon and eggs. Very kicks one. Short. EJ. Oh, nice play by EJ, but it bounces out. 
was able to tip that away from. We've got a lot of Sims Ray players who are not going to give up on that rebound here. Yep. Number 32, Luke Garkowski checks in after playing a real good JV game. JV had a wonderful win against Southington tonight after they beat us at their place in oh. January. Yeah, oh, that's nice. real nice. Yeah, we definitely needed that win. Definitely. We scored 68 points. We won 68-53. Good, good win for Coach Scott and the, and the Trojan JV. A lot of freshmen played tonight. Yeah, yeah they brought up four freshmen. Yep. Kyle Borowski, a junior. Rayan checks back in with a minute 23 left. Borowski can cut the Sims Ray lead to one with this. Good snatch by EJ. Let's see what Coach Stillman's got in mind on this possession. It is a, like a 1-3, one, one, yeah, a 1-2-2, is. two, two, isn't yeah, it, it is. really? Yeah. yeah. That point guy comes out pretty far sometimes. Should be opening up some baseline uh, slip, well, slip behinds. Yeah, and the corners are, have been open. There's Luke. It looks good. It yes. Did. Yeah, right on line. Lukey G. With a nice three ball. Good ball movement there and pass by uh, Jack Petrina. Do we have six threes? Is that... Oh, EJ, nice block, and he gets it, a la Bill Russell. <laughs> oh, good board. It's Lost a handle. Got stripped on the way up. 25 seconds left, five points since Ray Lee. Here comes Chris Kelly. He slips. Oh, Ray. Ray picks it. Get it back to Walt for a dunk. Oh, nice oh, power move. Very nice take to the glass by Ray. On. Good block by Walter there. Stepped out of bounds with 0.7 left. Point 0.7. See if they can get a shot off. Walter, oh. a little firm. <laughs> 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 All right. 20 to 13, a little closer than yeah, perhaps we prefer. Look like it, yeah. That's, I don't want to say the bad news, but here's the good news, guys. We got five Trojans in the scoring column in the first quarter. EJ with five, Medvi with six, Rayon with four, JB chipped him with two, and Luki just hit that three. So that's five guys, one, two, three, four, five. I like that. Yeah, great. And as you said, B, one, two, three, Four three points. Four, okay. Yep. And uh, for uh, Southington, they just have three players in, in the, I'm sorry, four players in the scoring column, led by Patrick Freer, number 20, with six points. So, Coach Stillman in his eighth year here at Simsbury, getting a program, uh, really a, just a, a tremendous program up and running here. Uh, last year, Simsbury was 17 and three. 18 and five overall after a CCC tournament win, a CCC tournament loss, and then a very tough first round state loss here against Cheshire. A big upset loss by one point. This year, right back at it again, folks. 14 and three, nine and three in a CCC West. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, the CCC West tournament as well as the state tournament uh, right around the corner. There goes Barmore. Oh, a deep one. A little short. Freer definitely has the green light for Bob, Coach Lansbury. Korkowski over to Hayes. Hayes penetrates. Floater. I see Pat Shea's checked in for Simmons. Oh, nice pickup. Yeah. Thank you. P. Shea, number 10, junior, Patrick Shea. Good tight man-to-man -man by Simsbury. There oh, good pick by Rayon Freer, but he'll get touched. He'll get touched up on that one. Oh, 
He was excited with that steal. Yeah. He had clear sailing there. Yes, he did. Potential dunk. We haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, yeah Ray has the ability to throw it down. It'd have to be a very good opportunity and probably coming from the right side. Short. Good off ball oh, rebound. Wow. JB. Here comes Jackie P. Gets it to Luke. Oh, oh nice, Luke. Luke. Nice shot. It's two for Luke tonight. Fifth three for Sims Ray. Oh, steps. Yeah, I think that 3 2 zone will create some three point opportunities. Yeah, we've taken a lot. Luke Garkowski off the bench with two nice three balls. Coach Stillman's already got, what, nine, eight guys, nine guys in the game already. I like that. Yeah. Luke wants another. Oh, good rebound by Jack Petrina on the guard slot. Oh, JB, JB wants a little. Up. Oh, nice. Oh, good rebound. hops. Yeah, Barmore. Yeah, he got way up. Athletic is all get out. Yeah. Oh, good cutoff by Ray. Oh, oh my. Career. Trying to draw the foul, didn't get the call. Seems like he didn't see a shot he didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Ray pulls up. Absolutely cool. It's getting fast and furious here. <laughs> Sounds like a movie. <laughs> Twenty-three, thirteen, ten-point lead. Oh, hey, Shea with a nice tip out, couldn't quite squeeze it. All right. Five full, coming in. Full bore substitution in line for Coach Still. Oh, great rebound blockout area by JB. JB's got good hops himself. He does. Yeah. He threw his first dunk down a couple weeks ago. Did he really? Yeah, in practice. Oh, okay. Ray stepped oh, into Ray. that. Nice. I love to see Ray hit the jump. Yeah, and I liked the way he stepped right into that. They're no sidestep. They need that. So oh, there's our boy Freer. I don't think Barmore is an offensive player. No. Seems That's like a heck he likes of a nice rebound. That was a nice pass. Yeah, he's good at that. He's a heck of a quarterback. Who scored that, boys? Did you see? I missed that one. No. I was admiring the pass. I'll have to find out at halftime. It might have been Sorrentino, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Okay, so we got 451 left, 11 point lead. A little quiet out here in the tournament yeah, it tonight. Is, it is. Monday's going to be a nice, good game, though. That's going to be, be a, exciting. That's going to be a and great game. senior night, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yep. What, are they going to have senior night a couple weeks ago? Friday. Friday. This was this game was supposed to be senior night. Front Friday got postponed because of snow. They were going to do it on Saturday. Got postponed because of snow. They were not going to do it last night, postponed by snow. Mm -hmm. So this, this game has been postponed three times. Yeah. It's been a crazy winter, folks, as you know, here in Simsbury, Connecticut. Got EJ back in. Walter. Oh, Tomashi Adams, number oh, two, Tomashi. checks into the game for Simsbury Junior Guard. Armour. So I believe Coach Still has played 11 people so far. Just Stevie Moretta with his warm up still on here in the first half. I think he'll get some minutes today. I hope he does. He's one of my favorites. Oh, great play by Walter. Can't get the roll. Nice board by Queen. Right at the rim right there. Oh, yeah. Ser Serentino on number 15. Barmore's got some good hops himself. A little travel time. Here comes some subs. Number 34, Queen, a junior. Oh, Queen's a senior. Number 
Orlovsky's a junior. Sorrentino's a junior. He'll be good. Yikes. It is good to bounce the ball on the floor when you're starting to move your feet around. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or plant one, baby. It's one of the primary rules in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely, okay. Hey, Bob Holloway, how you doing? Bobby Holloway in the house, former Trojan from the 50s. Oh, nice great back, back door. door oh, nice play by, they run that nice. Yeah, that was well done. See Bobby Holloway over there, bro? Yeah, I see him. Yeah. With his grandkids. Ah, uh, okay. He made that, correct, boys? Did he make that call? Yeah. yeah. Freer, two for four from the line tonight. He's got seven of their 18. Three minutes and 21 seconds left in this half. EJ pulls up for a three. DJ just with five here tonight, comes into the game. Top players in the state, probably a top five, top 10 player in the state. I, I think the Connard game is the first time I've, he hasn't scored in the 20s. I yeah, think. that was the season low, B. Yeah. Tied for season low. What do you have, 19? Yeah, 19. he had 19 in another game too. Did he? Yep. But he's very consistent. He is, he's always in that 24 to 27 yeah. area. Good D by Tomashi. Ooh, oh, he's quick. That's going to be Southington ball. No, no he calls his three. Right. Off Queen. Here comes four more subs. It's uh, like the hockey lines out here tonight for Coach Stillman. Travel basketball subs. <laughs> <laughs> Running them in shifts. Jack Petrina over to Luke. Trying to work some motion here. Out to Lukas, good baseline move. Little short, didn't get any arc on it. Kicks it out to Freer, three. He's their offensive player, that's for sure. Khalil, he has a green light. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. It's a nice roll to have. It is. Good extra square around. Frayer guarding EJ. Yeah, they switched to the man, you're yeah. right. Oh. JB, nice That's knockdown. nice to see, two nice jumpers for him. Yep, he's got four. Ooh, Ray. A lot of reachy. Nice shot, Freer. And he's in double figures with 11 now. Oh, good take, Ray. He got fouled by Borowski on that one. Queen, I think. Yep. Queenie. And Ray will go to the line to shoot two here. Ray was seven points tonight. First three minutes, I think we had 15 points. It looked like it was gonna be an 80 point game. I know. It's really slowed down. Yeah, it was It was the like three and a half minutes, yeah. I think, right? 15 points. Mm -hmm. Good stroke. That's the Christie foul stroke that I've come to know. It must be the shoes. One minute to play, first half, one minute. It's got a nice crossover. Oh. Yikes. Oh, Emmy. Passes as Emmy good Lou. As the crossover. <laughs> yeah, right. He doesn't do that often, that's why. Yeah. He doesn't have much practice. 35 year Simsbury trainer Emmy Lou McLean on the receiving end of that cross court pass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And she squeezed it. She's got great hands. It's from taping all those ankles. <laughs> a 
That's a tough place to get the ball down in that corner of a zone. Trap City. Ooh, a lot of reaching. Seems very fan base seems to have expanded a bit in the past 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. that's good. All that homework and studying is over with. They <laughs> yeah. come on out now. Pull up three, oh, tough he one. Got he got hammered. Yeah, he did. <laughs> a very close friend of EJ's up in the student section is quite upset about them putting their hands on him. Yes. He's a precious player. He is. EJ hits the first one. And there's the Kell Dog. Number four checks in. EJ goes one for two from the line. He's three for four for tonight. Three points on the line tonight for EJ. Three with a three ball, six for him with 15 seconds left in the first half. Look at Ray, that textbook stance and defense. Trapping him in the corner. No reaches though, don't reach. Free, uh, seems no. like that. Got a foul to give though, a couple fouls to give. No, I'm sorry, He's shooting one, one. No, one more. Oh, they already no, loaded yeah, it up. Yeah, they already put it up. Five seconds. Oh. Good help Freer by Freer pulls up. Short. All right, 31-23 to half. So we won that quarter by one point only. So they played us pretty tight there. 11 to 10 in that quarter after going out to a seven point lead. Sinsbury stretches the halftime lead to eight. So we'll take a little break here at halftime. We'll get some scores uh, lined up and uh, and we'll, uh, I think Nick Saint, you're gonna hit the floor, Nick Saint, and help out. All right, you can uh, cut that off and uh, we'll get you the second half, folks. We'll grab a soda, a bag of chips, uh, and we'll be right back with you. Channel 95, SCTV, Trojans Basketball. All right, welcome back, folks, to tonight's SCTV broadcast of Simsbury Trojan Basketball. It's halftime here, the Southington and uh, Simsbury game. 31-23, Trojan lead, February 20th. Uh, game 17 of the 20 game, I'm sorry, 18 of the 20 game season. Folks, we just want to talk a little bit about the Trojans and uh, where they are right now with regard to the CCC tournament. Uh, Simsbury, as we suspected, guys, is in a, is in a three-way uh, fight right now in the CCC West with New Britain, Farmington, and Simsbury. We we you know out of the beginning of the season we knew it'd be down to those three teams. New Britain's 12 and one in the in the in the CCC West. Oh, they are! Wow. Farmington's 10 and three, so they played one more game than us. Well, so we have to beat them Monday. We got to beat them Monday, probably, Like I was saying with you and Jim, and then nine and three is Simsbury. So, folks, out of 32 CCC teams. 16 make the tournament. The top eight get a home game. But the CCC North is one of the tougher divisions. East Catholic, Windsor, East Hartford, Weaver and Glastonbury are all very strong teams. But right now East Catholic's nine and three in the CCC. Windsor's eight and three. Uh, East Hartford's seven and five. Uh, and then in the CCC South is Maloney at, not, at 10 and two and Middletown nine and two. Yeah. The, and then Bristol Central nine and two. So those are tough spots. We wouldn't even hear about those teams. I know. Especially it, Maloney. Right. And then Brian, CCC East, you got Bloomfield at 10 and one and EO Smith's 10 and two. I didn't know that and either. And we beat them the first game of the season. EO Smith? Yeah, and they've gone off and gone, to, they're 11 and six right now. And then you got Hartford Pub at seven and three. So, you know, it's it's really um, it's 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 gives a lot of action left in, in the season. It will be hard to make the top eight. Though. It's going to be hard to make to the top home, eight. To get exactly. A home game. Yeah. Exactly. Where do they play the semifinals and finals? Do last year it was Buckley, 
Yeah. They break it up right. Four teams went to Buckley after the first round. Yeah. And then four teams went to, I think it was Rock, uh, Rocky Hill. I see. Yep. And then they had the finals at Glastonbury, I believe. So the CCIAC, folks, Simsbury plays in the double L. And right now, Simsbury's ninth in the double L. First is Fairfield Prep, Bridgeport Central, Crosby, New Britain is number four now. Greenwich, New London, Ledger, and Kennedy. I might have misadded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And New Britain's number four. So you have to win eight games to make the state tournament. Right now, folks, there's 29 teams that have qualified for the state tournament. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we go on here, but that sets up where we are with three games left, yeah, three and a half games. It's going to be fun the rest of the season here. Definitely. Oh, nice, J.B. Hayes with a nice spinning hoop. We'll see what Coach Stolen and the coaching staff talked about at halftime. Thirty-three, twenty-three. Lead back to ten. Turnover by Southington. Oh, great rebound, JB. Nice, no nice way. play by Steve Heron to get that ball loose. A lot of offensive rebounds this game. Yep. And J.B. Hayes has eight after four in the first half. He gets the first four in the second half for Simsbury. There's Fear. He's ready to square up. Good D by Simsbury on the Very perimeter. Very good. Ooh, having, tough quick shot by Barmo. They're having, no, that was... But he 22, Sorrentino. Oh, nice no. pass. That QB was Barmore. Pass. That was nice. That was Barmore, number 12. That's seven for Sorrentino. He had five in the first half. Freer led Southington with 12 in the first half. Ooh, nice pass. Go up, Steve. Oh, power up, Steve. Nice. Power up. Again. Oh, nice. nice hook shot. And he's in the book, Steve Heron. Great rebound. And that's the sixth Simsbury score in the book tonight. Strong, hard-nosed player. Oh, good oh. D. Couldn't get possession on that one. Nice hustle by Nate Medvey. Great D and great hustle by the senior, number 23. Coach Stillman tried to call a timeout. He did. <laughs> he out of bounds. tried. Exactly. It was close. That's a wily coach right there trying to get He's that good at that. Yeah. Good steal by Ryan. Yeah, got his hand in there. He's going to take it all the way. EJ, good board on the offensive glass. It gets it. EJ's got eight. The boards, Khalil, were killing him on the offensive yeah. boards. Yeah, definitely in this half, particularly. First three minutes here. Oh, nice backdoor pass by Barmore. Oh, nice finish by Freer. 30 second timeout by Coach Lasbury. That was Freer, Bry? Got yes. To, yeah. He's got 14. He's got half their points. Barmore is get great at getting the ball into the paint. You can see the inner QB in him. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. He sees where that guy's going. Great big court time. vision. Yep. As Khalil said, uh, Stephen Barmore, number 12, uh, was one of the top quarterbacks in the state the last couple of years, and he's headed to play for the Bulldogs of Yale down in New Haven. There's a good look at him, Nicky Saint, getting you a good look at the, uh, the Southington huddle.
What do you Nick, think? Just he's drop that down he just feet? a smidge, Nixter. Let me just get that. There we go. Roger. Let me get a little, there we go. Beautiful. Thank you, So Saint. Barmore is about six feet, you think, or a little bigger? I think he's six two, bro. Oh, okay. That would be oh, nice move by Crawford. I think he is, bro. Yeah, for a quarterback. Yeah. yeah. That. Kind of resembles Andrew Luck. He does. The yeah. way he looks, yeah. yeah. You can a see his big, big upper body. He sure yeah. does. Same number two. Yeah, he does look like Luck. With the beard and everything there. It was Walter 6'4? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I think 6'2 is about right. And a conventional three point play for EJ. And that's five for him this half. Shot. Ooh. Quick release. Yeah. Nate wants a little good board by Barmore. Ooh. Oh, look oh, at nice that. Pass. There it is. Oh, <laughs> he got intercepted. <laughs> Interception. <laughs> <laughs> and a scissoring student walls giving it to him. DJ gets another offensive board call. A little short on the floater for Jay. Freer gets into the paint. Oh, nice. He's good. He is good. He's got 14, 16, 16 points now. for Freer. 42-31 with four minutes left. Ooh, that looked like he got bumped. Good deep by Sorrentino. Definitely some contact. Yeah, it sure looked it, bro. Barmore. Oh, got to use the board there, Steve. EJ, wow. Bro, are they going to give him two? They are. He kind of forced his way in there a little bit. Guys, Ray had a nice first half with nine. EJ had six, Nate Bedvey six, Ray nine, JB had four, and then Gorkowski had six. Good balance. Yeah. Freer had 12 in the first half, Pagano five, Boroski one, and Sorrentino five. Walter and Jack Petrina, I mean not Walter, uh, Luke Gorkowski and Jack Petrina are in. Number 32 yep. and number 12, respectively. Freer. On the floor, I believe that will be. Has given him. No, yeah, you're right. Freer's a tough cover. Yeah, he's played well. Borowski. Oh, nice play by Jack Petrino. Yeah, Jackie P in the book. Great layup. Seven Simsbury scores in the book now. Freer's got the head down. <laughs> he wants to score. <laughs> Ooh, that looked Kelly, like a little travel. Yeah, he got there. away with one. We're going to call a jump ball, Southington Arrow. Good D by Petrina shuts down that baseline on Kelly. Freer. Oh, good block oh. by EJ. Yikes, Kelly. I believe that was Chris Kelly's first field goal attempt this game. Yeah, I think you're right. That'll be on JB Hayes. Two shots for number 11, Kyle Borowski. You know what I was looking at, fellas, in the state rankings, the CIAC? Look at all these teams that are down in the area where Simsbury could play in the first round. 
Hall, Connard, Manchester, Newington. Wow. All right in that area. They're all there. tough. Could be tough ones. Yeah. Depending where they fall in the seating. Simsbury, if they're in the top ten. Walter White. Oh, nice. Slashing and dashing. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in the book. So that's eight Trojans in the scores column. Oh, Walter. Oh, Walter up high. Compared to only five players at the Connor game. That's right, Khalil. EJ, oh, wow. EJ. Thought he drew the foul. I think EJ made those two foul shots. Here's Kelly, Skylab. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice hustle. Oh, oh Luke. yeah, Lukey, take it. Oh, oh nice, nice drop back. Oh, EJ. EJ. He makes it look so easy. Coach Lasbury, the lead gets to 20. He wants a T.O. Luke said to EJ, he messed up my assist. Look at EJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> EJ got the offensive board. Though. Yeah. <laughs> He took away the, the, the assist from Luke. So EJ, two, four, six, Big eight, quarter. 11 points wow. this quarter. Wow. I, 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 w I forgot to fill in those two foul shots he had there. Did he make them both? I yeah. think he did. I'm guessing he did, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Here's Nick Saint getting into that Simsbury huddle. There's Coach Stillman's wife over there, Anna. Get up there, Anna. Mrs. Stillman, and that's Kylie Stillman, his daughter right there in the yellow. She looks like a future cheerleader. Yep, and I think that's a little friend there, a little cheerleader friend in the red sitting next to Aunt Anna. <laughs> we'll have to get the name of that participant. All right, thank you, Nick. Coach's wife. A lot of credit goes out to the coach's wife, boy. We all know how dedicated the coaches to that season and all the time spent both off the court and at home doing stats, watching game film, sleepless nights. It's 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 rewarding, but it, it, it takes a toll on you. There's no question. And Coach Stillman is big time emotionally invested in the program. It shows with the record we're putting up the last few years. All you, right. You don't do it for the money either. No, no, no. <laughs> He's afraid to divide the amount of hours he spends by the uh, the, the, the income. It'd be, it'd be low. The nice thing about it is uh, he has an office here as a guidance counselor, so whenever he wants to meet up with one of the players during school, he can. That's nice. Good block by EJ. Great block by EJ. Size that one up. Walter. Oh, well, good, good hop, hop step. step. Yeah. yeah. Khalil, that's a really good point. Thank you for bringing it up. I've been wanting to mention that the Coach Stillman is a guidance counselor here at the high school. And uh, that, look at that, that makes a big difference for the reasons you just mentioned. Today. Oh, kick it ahead. Oh, nice pass. Oh. Wow. Tough recovery, almost put it in. EJ's messing up everyone's assists. Yeah. Usually gets the rebound after. <laughs> he was flying out of bounds yeah. on that one. I think EJ's about 14 points away from the 1,000 point mark, EJ Crawford. In about two years, about two and a half years of varsity he's played. He's a junior now. Yeah, I remember he started halfway through his freshman season. Right. Good rebound, couldn't quite corral it. Chris Kelly fighting EJ for that rebound. It's getting a little sloppy. Yes, it is. 22 points, Sinsbury Lee with 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Who's number 15, Roger? I, I uh, Sorrentino? Oh, no, for oh, there, oh, Steve, thank you. I thought it was your Steve Moretta. Somebody you coached. Steve Moretta checked yeah. in. I love it. Junior Steve Moretta, number 15. Great kid, great, great kid. Funny guy. Oh yeah, I've, I've had the pleasure of coaching him in bas uh, baseball a couple of years. One of my favorites. Good to see him get in. So that's everybody, all 13 players for, uh, I'm sorry, 12 players for Coach Still. Brendan Day, unfortunately, is on the injury reserve list. 
the big fellow's been out for a while, and uh, we wish him all only the best. Hope he's getting better, Brendan. Brendan Day, sophomore, plays JV and varsity. Spins it over to EJ, pumps, short, 54-34. Wow, 23 to 11 in that quarter. Woo! EJ's got 17. Yes, he does. Yeah, he had a big quarter. Yep, so EJ had uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 of our 23 that quarter. A lot well, more energy that quarter yeah, for the whole team. Yeah. On defense and led to some fast breaks and yep. offensive rebounds. I agree, Brad. Coach still might have had a little bit of uh, to do with that in the in the locker room at halftime. Yeah. EJ's a very streaky scorer, so I can easily see him getting it if if, if uh, Coach Stillman keeps him in. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the key. There's Nick Sink getting a good look at our uh, our EJ Crawford. I think he's made the uh, the five fifteen every week. Seems like it. Every yeah, week, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that they've had it. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Nothing better than consistency in yeah, all sports. Uh, yeah. you know, he scores 24, 25 every game. Yeah. And unselfishly, Brian. Yeah. As we've said throughout our broadcast, he, 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 he passes the ball, he takes good shots. He's not a gunner by any stretch of the imagination. No. And he's smooth as silk. Not turnover prone. All right, we start the fourth quarter. 20 point lead for the Trojans. Good ball movement out of the time, out of the quarter. Steve Heron gets hammered. Oh, Coach Still, cl classic timeout right there. Yep. Clutch T.O. by Coach Still. Always on his feet when stuff comes up like that. Yeah, he's he's one of the best I've ever seen at, get, at using his timeouts in perfect times. Can't take him with you, as I say. So, yeah, it's a little quiet. Decent crowd, though. Yeah. Why don't you get a look, Nick, at that Trojan wall over there? Fire us up with those students up there. Harlem Shake. We call it the Trojan Wall. Good look at a bunch of good Simsbury students up there. It's been a great turnout this year. Every game has been real good. A lot of basketball players. Yeah, a lot of JV and freshman players up there right now. And there's a look at the parent section. Thank you, Nick. EJ gets to his left hand and rolls oh. one in. 19 for EJ. You never know, he could get another 10 or 12 here. Coach Stone is definitely in a wire too. Yeah, obviously that's right. He'd much rather have him get it right he out may here keep tonight. Him in just yeah. for that. That'd be nice. Get it out of the way. As long as he doesn't keep him in for 44. <laughs> yeah. Barmore puts up two. That's his first oh, basket. Nice look, JB. Yeah. Nate's first basket of the second half for the Trojans. Seems very tightening up on the defense. Very much so. Despite the lead. Yep. Oh, Steve. That's only the third team foul for Southington. Not a lot of fouls tonight either. No. Can't get it to drop, EJ. Nice board by Barmore. Freer. Offensive board for, oh, it looks like he got hit on that. Number 11, Kyle Borkowski. Oh, good chase down by EJ. Ooh. 
Good save. That was nice. Good oh. Move. No convert. Rayon's pretty oh, foisty nice. tonight uh, in the defense. He, he is. He's just missing a lot of passes. And that's double figures for Sorrentino with 10. Looks like a two. No, nope, they're still in that 3 2, 1 2 2. Oh, good left hand by yeah, Christie. Nice pass by JB. And he's in double figures with 11 of his first basket in the second half. Yeah, it's good to see him picking up the scoring. That'll help him. Little zone for the Trojans here, 2 3 zone. Sorrentino hits another from the same spot. Got some subs coming in for Simpson Ray soon. Good pass. Oh, Ray got baseline quick. Nice on move, that. Ray. Good pass, nice move. 13 for Ray. Oh, EJ, oh. this could be a dunk. Get on that, Nick. Oh. Borowski just bothered him enough. Yeah. He didn't know what he was going to do. That's not his preferred side either, coming in from the left. He'd rather come in from the other side. With this the left, side, yeah. No sense getting hurt on that. No, he was smart to pull up. 21 points for EJ, he's 10 points from 1,000 points, career points. Why do they do this to this kid? Do you know? <laughs> Is it really his birthday? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I think it's, that was a different kid. Was it? Yeah. Singing that. Yeah. I think it was Freer the first time. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> he hits them both. Got 16, does Sorrentino with those two threes and those two foul shots right there. Scored the last eight points for Southern. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's unusual. <laughs> wow. Fair deep. Oh, oh, man. Oh. DJ. Shootout. 24, according to my book. We'll see if Pat Shea's coming in for him. Yeah. Is it him? Yeah. No? No, it's JB. JB. Yeah. This is unofficial up here, guys. I'm not, you know, I can't say for right. sure I've got the right score, but yeah. I, I think we're darn close. Three minutes left, and I think he's got 24. We got a 67-47 point lead, uh, staying at that 20 points for the Trojans. It was 20 at the end of the third quarter, and that remains right now. Good luck at the Simsbury huddle there. So, Brian, on Monday night, we got a special guest in the house, Tom Young. That's right. Yeah, Class of 75, the seven foot bookworm, as they called him in Sports Illustrated when he went to play for Pete Carrill down in Princeton. Played in two NCAA tournaments uh, for the Tigers, the Princeton Tigers, wow. one against Kentucky. They were the one seed, Kentucky, and, and Princeton was the 32 seed in 1976. Is that 77, right? 77, yep. He said he scored 16 on Rick Roby. Yeah, really? Yep. Wow. In the Palestra. And that was only when there were 32 teams that were in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. 
EJ is kind of forcing shots now, but who can blame him? Yep, absolutely, Chloe. You read my mind. Oh, oh good block. They called a foul. Barmore got that in the air. The refs want to see a thousand. I think so. I think they got it on the floor, though. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. They got Borowski on the floor, but Barmore blocked it. Smooth ass silk. Absolutely. There goes Steve Moretta getting ready to go in. I imagine he's going to go for Walt, perhaps. Uh oh, EJ. He knows he's oh, close. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Coach still getting a little beat down. <laughs> and that gives the sign for Coach Lasbury to get his Everyone bench players Everyone on the team was in. surprised there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They knew roughly where he was. What did we say, 24 or 26? 26, 26 bro. Yeah. So some of the JV players are in here now. For number 23 played JV, Nate Blitz. He was pretty good for them, even though we won by 15 on him. Good hustle. Oh, nice pack. Good pass ahead. There's Luke. That's eight for Luke, his first basket of this half. Pat Shea on it. Oh, Walter. Oh, oh. can't get it to roll. Grizzly play there. Oh, oh, Walt picked it. Oh, oh he got molested. <laughs> he did. Jeez. They're not going to call that up 24. No, I guess not. Oh, oh nice move. Yeah, he played JV also. Number 13, Mike Taylor, Jr. Played on the JV team. What happened there? What was that? Someone called timeout? I think just a sub. Huh? All right, Steve Moretta checks in, Tomashi Adams, Pat Shea, Luke Garkowski, and CP3 Connor, P CP4 Connor Peterson in the game right now. You have four juniors and a sophomore right now in there. A little look at next year. Lukas doesn't get to roll off a nice pass by Peterson. Oh. So what we'll do, Bry, is I guess we'll probably award EJ that ball maybe before the game against Farmington. Yes, that would yes. make sense. They don't want to bring that to Glass yeah, that would be perfect. You? No. no, you don't do it at a wait. No. Games. They'll make mention maybe during the game. Yeah, they may. Connor Peterson kicks out to Luke. It's good. Oh, in and out. A oh, good board by Shea. Tomashi on it. Spins it over to Stevie Moe. Oh, good three-point shooter Moe is. Can't get it to drop. 50 seconds left in the game, Nick. How's the neck doing, all right? <laughs> I'd like to see some of the bench players score. Maybe two Oh, nice there. give and go. Like yeah. That. Nice move. That was not an easy shot. No, it wasn't. 23. <laughs> Tamashi oh. way up. Oh, Connor in the scrum. Hope someone had that on camera. That was extreme hops. <laughs> it was. Nine players in the Trojans book, Khalil. Wow. Oh, there's the Nate, big Nate, the sophomore from JV. Hits a three ball. With a three. Oh, oh Tomashi. All right. Goes to the line. He could two. make it 10 in his book. Believe that'd be a record for this year, right? Yeah, I think it yeah. would. 
Is Tomashi going to make one or two of these? Khalil. Two. He said he wants to score. Yeah. Oh. He has scored this year already, though. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. In, at East, at uh, Bristol Eastern, I believe. Oh, way. Khalil, nice. Two points for Junior Tomashi Adams. That's 10 players in the book for the Trojis. Oh, nice stroke. Borofsky with two. So Simsbury will go to 15 and three, headed to Glastonbury tomorrow night to play the obvious tough Glastonbury Tomahawks uh, with uh, with UConn coming back from Temple tonight, I'm sure Kevin Ollie will be there yeah, to right. see his son, Jalen Ollie, who is the point guard for the Glastonbury team. Yeah, I would hope so. Right. Yep, so we'll see them tomorrow night. That'll be fun. Uh, so Simsbury goes to 15-3. and three. Southern goes to 1-16. and 16. So we go to Glastonbury for a big game tomorrow night for CCC and state tournament positioning. And then back here, folks, Monday, the 24th, for the Farmington Indians. And uh, that's going to be a battle of all battles. It'll be senior night. We'll uh, most likely award the game ball for 1,000 uh, points to uh, uh, to EJ. Oh, that'll be great. Yep. Big and night. we'll have big Tommy yep. Young here in the house. Khalil, you'll have to come up, maybe hang with us a little bit, to come mm -hmm. say hi to, to big Tom Young. Uh, he's going to take your slot, I'm sorry to say. But we appreciate you working so hard here uh, the last few games. And Khalil, I, I think we got probably two more games left after that Farmington game. Yeah. So I'd love to have you back in the booth with us uh, for the tournament. Brian, thanks so much for coming back out. Nick St. Savar, uh, appreciate all the great work, Nickster, uh, in, in, the, in the camera position, all these difficult. Nick does a great job. It'll be nice to meet a local legend on Monday. Well, you're sitting yeah. between two of them yeah. right now. What more do you want, Khalil? Yeah, it's Come true. on now. I know. Getting a lot of spoiled here. Yeah, my <laughs> goodness gracious. The only kid. Yeah, it'll be. You don't get many seven footers uh, yeah. in high school, uh, especially uh, in, in the '70s. You know, that's, that stuff was rare. And Tommy Young's coming all the way down from uh, from uh, Vermont to meet us. Supposed to be down last night, but the game got canceled. Supposed to be down Friday, Saturday. It's been a, a train wreck here. We're trying to get this game in. All right, well, folks, uh, SCTV Channel 95, Jason Staples. Uh, we thank him for all his great work down there at the station. Khalil Ellis, Roger Coombs, Brian Coombs, Nick St. Savar, we say thank you and good night. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.